Hey guys, you just saw me put in the new batteries and now we're going to be putting in some new solar panels on the cabin. The panels we're putting on, I believe, are 520s or 530 bifacial panels. They're not going to get the most efficient use because of where they're going. So the bifacial part won't matter for right now until I can get the panels put in place and then the bifacials will go to the main house. So where are we gonna put these panels? Let me show you. Those two panels, I'm gonna be stretched across at the front porch here. That's gonna make it so the panels get the most efficient lighting. There's no other real place to put them. I'm not gonna put them on the roof because this roof's gonna be getting redone here in the next year. Currently, those, what, those 10 panels are up there are what's powering this cabin. It is not efficient. The low voltage and low amp compared to what I need. Here we are in the upper deck. We have our red. And black wire let's get this pre-wired so it's ready to go for when our friend mac gets up here to help me uh put the panels up now i'm not sure which way the cables go i think they're centered on those panels so i'm just going to kind of set them right here hopefully i have enough wire to do this i might have to make a jumper i can't remember i'm going to just make a loop right here and then we're going to cross the wire over here and later on we will zip tie this to the house so it does not move. I might have miscalculated on my length. Poop. That's all right. I can do something for that. If you guys follow that. Yeah, you did. Okay, so let's go downstairs and see if we can have enough wire to go into the house. It's going to be iffy. All right, so what we've got to do, we grab all our wires from over here and bring them in over here and feed them through that little pipe over there, which is where all the wiring comes through. That'll get changed through sometime soon. We're going to start with the black wire because I, that one went underneath the emergency stairs. And oh boy, this is going to be close. Tack up like that. Okay, so that's in. We'll pull that in a minute. I'm going to reroute the red one underneath the emergency stairs. All right, let's go inside and see, see if we have enough length. <laughs> this ain't sketchy. All right, let's see if we can get a little light in there. That's the best we're going to get. So, the wires actually do reach. I might have to uh, get a little crazy on how I run them, but I need to put a bus bar in here or a breaker panel in here anyways to go from there up to there. So, if need be, I can cut them, put my fuse in, and still be able to run them up there without an issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie that up here. Let me see what my length is. So I need to make sure I keep at least that length for those. Now we'll check to see what it looks like upstairs. Don't mind the mess in here. This is all getting rearranged here as we go. So, all right, let's uh, see how much wire we have left upstairs. We do have enough wire to do this. On to the next step. Got it? Yep. I'm up there. I'm actually bringing it on this side here. No, let it lead forward. Yeah. All right. 
put out my hurt. Oh, pull it back up there. Pull it back up there. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oh. Alright, hang on a second. Bring it up. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a little easier, but it's not going to work if I wanted to. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, I got the plow. Let's kind of get it going underneath, all the way outside. Got it? Okay. Walking over. Okay. Over there. This is kind of goal. All right, you got it? Got it. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna kind of dangle you out there so you can see what we're doing here. Ignore Mac. <laughs> He's the crazy neighbor, but we like him. That's good. Sometimes. You know, he'd be even better if he'd stop leaving his freaking Dr. Peppers and root beer can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm just busting his chops. I'll show you these brackets here in a few minutes, guys. They're kind of cool. Okay, you can let it go. Oh, they ain't going nowhere. Okay, that's pretty, pretty good. Now, the thing is, is the bottom one. Because these brackets won't fit on there, so I need to look to see if there's a way I can change how they go. I did find these brackets online. If you're interested in them, let me know and I'll get you a link. Now it's time to start running our wire. That's why I got a brand new bag of uh, MC4 connectings. And what we're going to do here is we're going to connect our positive or negative from this panel to our positive on that one, and negative will go through the inverter, positive to the inverter. Try to get as much power out of it as possible. And these fittings are kind of easy to mess up. So you want to look inside and see which one it is. See, that's got a cylinder in it, so now we need a skinny one like that to go into it. They look alike, but one fits into the other one. So you gotta make sure you do this right. Yep, that's it. So we're gonna go negative to positive around. So let's get this on. Use this connector first. On there. And I'll squish it on. I did at one point, just not anymore. You're gonna, there's going to be a pop when you push it in, it locks. There it is. And it doesn't want to come off. It, it'll come off, but it's a really a forceful pull to get it off. All right, here are the specs for the solar panels. They are 530 watt bipatials. Tighten down your drum. That is kind of the good thing. You can't really, you're not paying super close attention. You can screw up and go through fittings, but we're all right here. Well, that one's finished. So I'm just gonna click it in. It's not hurting anything doing this like this. This one will go positive. Because you can look on here, it's just positive here. It's got a plus symbol, and down this one here, it's got a little negative symbol.
them later on I'll secure these a little bit better and kind of hide them so guests can't knock them around. <coughs> here we have our positive. We'll hook them up over here like this once it's all set up. All right, so I cannot find my other switchable fuse. So we're gonna install an inline for right now until I can order a new one and get it in here. It'll work the same. I'm gonna put a 30 amp fuse in it, which is what's recommended for these panels. We'll be all right. So I need to split this. My inverter's being cranky. And I'm also gonna be ordering another bus bar for this system too, so. The inverter beep, is it telling me that the panels that were already on it are too low voltage to work with these batteries? Gonna take that much off. This one will go up into there. And once I have my bus bars and stuff, I will totally redo all this. Take me about 10 minutes. I used to do a lot of this on boats, so it's kind of second nature to me. And I will add a actually a switch that'll turn the whole thing off. Kind of like this right here. It actually has a key. And if I add more panels to this cabin, I've actually got to put a system outside to a combiner box to make it work properly. I have solderable connections. I'm not going to use them until I have all my parts here. I don't have the hand strength anymore that I used to. That's why I kind of do it that way. All right, so that's going to sit down on that. And this will be fed up here. That's almost ready to be installed. And then I got to disconnect the other solar. And that solo that's coming out of this is what's on the top of the trapper cabin. And that we're going to use for the trapper cabin batteries. So just to be safe, I'm going to shut everything down and disconnect the batteries, which is this little switch right here. I'm just going to check to make sure there's definitely no power. No power. This is off, I'll remove the key so I know it's definitely off. There's the negative from that one. And the positive from that system. So now we're gonna take our negative from here. So I should do the positive first. It's a little easier. Oh no, we didn't trim that one. The reason I'm doing the uh, positive first is because it's on the left hand side and it's up tighter to the uh, other mechanisms here. Oh, I can't see beans. Flashlight. Go. So 
I'm going to leave this off for a minute. Don't lose the tiny little screw. I started with four, I'm down to one. Told you I'm not perfect. I'm going to go upstairs and connect the panel up there. what happens and as always if you hear electricity call the EMTs okay it's on put this back on take a minute And at this point, this cabin should have solar. Good solar. And then I get to clean up all this. Okay, so let's look here. Well, I'm putting in five amps. Let's see if that coincides with over here. And it does, so we are putting power in. Okay, so we no volt, no AC going out because nothing's turned on. And the inverter's actually not on. We have 86 volts coming from the solar panels. Five amps going in, which is 142 watts coming from the panels. And this is an MPPT charge controller inside, so it's gonna change that. It's gonna reduce your voltage and increase your amperage. All right, so we're actually good. We're gonna let this charge for a little while. What happens? All right, so it's the next day and we have really good sun. And currently, the batteries are charging at 14 amps, 13 amps, somewhere in that line going into the batteries. Let's see what's going on up here. We're not using any power, we're just charging. Pushing 91 volts at the from the panels. Pushing 14 amps in. We're 27.1 volts on the batteries. So now we're going to look to see what is going on with the batteries. So one of the differences between bifacials, regular panels, the back sides look like the front almost. On regular panels, this section here would be white or black or a different color. But you can actually see all the individual cells on the back as well as the front. This clip and the next one were filmed about three days all later. All right, so we're charging around seven, 16 to 17 amps right now. And don't mind the mess, we're working on another project in here. And it's really, not that sunny out it's a little overcast the sun's peeking through a little bit but i am totally impressed by these bifacial solar panels for the amount of sun you can see it's cloudy out and they're coming from that direction and they're just kicking out power i will be buying more of these bifacial soon well that's it for this week's video guys sarah and i hope that you enjoyed the video and that you learned a little bit about solar i can and will be going more in depth into solar here in the near future Oh, and before I forget, we will be doing a live on April 26th, starting at 3.30 p.m. Alaskan Standard Time. That's 7.30 on the East Coast. We look forward to seeing you all there in the chat. Before I forget, if you get a chance, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Have a great day. Bye.